There's the opening tip. This is Calvin Chastain. We're at Adley Luzerne Middle School. This is game three in the Great Adirondack Shootout. Westcon Phillies in maroon from Connecticut against the Lake Champlain Lakers. Both teams coming in here at 2-0. And, oh, and uh, in a four-game tournament, this game could decide who's going to win the, the Great American Shootout here in uh, the Glens Falls, Lake George area. Starting for the Lakers, Amber Boudet puts that shot up. She's from Franklin Academy, also from Franklin Academy. Erica Johnson, Katie Warner from Saranac, Aaron Kromp from Franklin Academy, and Danielle Castine from Northeastern Clinton. Kromp will bring it up the floor. Both teams have coasted in their first two wins. The Lakers have outscored their opponents. 99 to 69, Boudet with a basket and a steal. Gets it to Johnson. We're tied at two all, 16 minute halves. Five seconds to get it in. And a Laker defense forces a turnover. Now Castine will inbound it. In the corner of the prompt, too strong. Ball comes long, Warner picks it up. Prop knocks it loose, it'll be off red. Now Aaron Cromp with the ball. Warner tries to go low for Boudet. Now Castine. Boudet knocked it loose. Traveling, call them crop. Coach Steve LePage nods in agreement. 8 a.m. start here on this Saturday, uh, Sunday morning. Boudet has come to play. John Bald, Pat Nod will come in. Kenzie Pat Nod from Shattagay in the game. Warner knocks it loose, Boudet comes up with it. Pat Nod to Boudet. And nice shot by Pat Nod. Lakers lead it 4-2. We have a red timeout. Connecticut ball. Connecticut coach complaining about where they're getting the ball in inbounds. Johnson with the steal. Keeps her pivot, gives it to Cromp. Travel, but gets away with it. Warner takes it to the paint, puts it up, draws a foul. Warner on the line. And second foul on this young lady should be should be replaced. Just barely nips the rim. 
Off red. <laughs> this coach, the coach didn't see it hit the rim. She's going to get a T before this game gets too far along. Goal ball. That note has to get it in. Five seconds. Gets it into Warner. Shot by Pat Node. Good hustle from Johnson. Puts it up and in. Erica Johnson. Good strong move. Lakers lead at 6 2. Now 6 4. Lazari replaces Crump for the Lakers. Amanda Wright and Gina Anderson in. Wright from Saranac, Anderson from Ty. Lazari, who just came in a few seconds ago, is from Osable Valley. 6 4 Laker ball. They have the lead. 11.45 to go, first half. Lazari to Anderson. Anderson drives in traffic off the glass. Long pass is going to be a potential layup here. Pat Note hustling back. And good hustle from Wright to help out. This West, Con this West Con team moves the ball well. Before the shot, foul on the floor. Red ball. Traveled, but she gets the foul call. Tie game. It's not a tie game. Lakers are up by two. It's eight six. Foul was on Amanda Wright. Katie Liberty in from Saranac, replacing Boudet. Violation gold. Somebody from the Lakers in too soon. Go up red, we go ball. West Con from Connecticut not pressing. Jose, it's across the timeline. Needs help. Out to Anderson. It's something the whole team is guilty of trying to pass through three opponents, and Amanda Wright's going to pick up another foul. Shooting two, she can tie it. This is them both. Anderson with the rebound. She stops off the back of the rim, over the back on Liberty. Lakers are going to put the Westcon in a one-on-one -one situation early. Anderson comes up with the steal. Is it to Patnode from three? Patnode follows it into the corner underneath for right. Underneath, over the shot is blocked. on Pat Node. Now foul on Liberty.
Go ball. Lazari will bring it down. Out to Anderson. Pat Node. Nine twenty to go. Still eight six in favor of the Lakers. Oh, nice play by Anderson. Didn't get the foul. Solid defense. Liberty to Anderson. In the corner, finds Pat Note. Pat Note take it. Tries to get it to Liberty. It's taken away by Westcon. The Lakers fighting amongst themselves. Now we have a hold on Pat Node. With 8.34 to go in the first half. Westcon's in a one and one situation. So they'll be shooting for a long time and they'll be shooting two very shortly on the tenth foul. Rebounded by Liberty. Gives it to Anderson. Up to Castine. Castine and uh, Johnson back in. Good hustle. So that oh, nice block. That's his call for a foul. And one of her teammates kicks the ball, but her coach says go get it. Lakers haven't been to the line too much. Connecticut hasn't uh, capitalized on their foul shooting. Anderson misses the first of the two shots. And doesn't hit a thing that time. Still 8-6. Been there for three, four minutes. Johnson with the steal. Pushes it to Lazari. Lazari stops. Tipped out by Red. Chastain will inbound it. To Anderson. Forcing in the paint again. There's one thing I've noticed about girls basketball is they don't understand that you can't pass through three or four defenders. Connecticut gets it on the possession arrow. Prompt in for Lazari. We're tied. Now, while since either team scored, it's 8 8. Prompt will bring it down for Lake Champlain. Pops a three. Boudet in for Liberty. Nice block. Six minutes, 33 seconds to go. In the first half. Ball comes long. Anderson gets it to, no, excuse me, Boudet gets it to Cromp. Now out to Castine. Oh, oh. 
Anderson comes out of the pack with it too strong. Laker fans looking for a little snow plow on that one. Just kind of uh, uses their forearm to clear a path. But the foul goes against Lake Champlain. 5.56 to go in the first half. And uh, Connecticut leads 9-8. Warner out for Crop. Crop underneath looking for Johnson. Cast on will inbound it. And way outside to Warner. Aaron Crop, a two pointer. Lakers lead at 10 to 9. Castine picks up her second foul. M Mackenzie Patnode comes back in for her. With 5.15 showing here in the first half, we are tied at the moment at 10. Johnson with the rebound. Gets it to Crump. Crump with the ball, she'll pop, and hit. And it's a 12-10 lead for Lake Champlain. Two shots. Should be shooting two. Nope. Got the scoring table said two shots. That note shot is short. 12-10 is the score. Lake Champlain up by a, a deuce. Travelin gives the ball back to Lake Champlain. Aaron Crump. Underneath for Johnson. Too strong. Boudet is there. She can't get it to fall. Three thirty-five to go. Call for a kick. Okay, we have found out that it's supposed to be one and one all the way. No two shot fouls in the one and one situations, that is. Normally on the 10th foul of the half, you shoot two. Twelve eleven the score.
by Warner. Boudet will pick it up. Gives it to Crump. Long pass up. Right is fouled. Right shooting two on a shooting foul. 2.46 to go. Yeah. And the right hits them both. Fourteen eleven, Laker lead. Boudet with a steal. Won't fall. Nice follow by Warner. Warner again. No foul. Jump ball. Patno looking for a target. Tries. No, oh, leave it go. It's going out of bounds. Don't touch it. Tries to pass through two de defenders. Forces the turnover. Lakers with a three-point lead. They have the ball with a minute 50 to go in the half. Mackenzie Patnode cross court to Pat to Crump. She'll shoot. Rebound by Amanda Wright. Now Patnode puts it up. Boudet keeps it alive. Warner puts it up. Boudet with the rebound. Lazarian Anderson report in for the Lakers. Minute and a half remaining in the first half. Laker lead back down to just one point. It's 14 13. Lazari with the ball. Hot note for three. Yes. Oh, it's called a two pointer. Should be a three pointer. Now they put the third point on the scoreboard. Liberty's set to come back in. Laker lead at four points. That's been the biggest margin of the game, I think, for early. And a foul to shoot two. Shooting two. 45 seconds on the clock here in the first half. Connecticut has certainly had their opportunities at the foul line. A three-point ball game. This is Lazari. Now Liberty underneath for right, back out for Anderson. 28 seconds to go. Mackenzie Patnode's three-pointer, the only difference in the ball game at the moment. Sabo. Like Champlain will get it with 13 seconds. Lazari. Connecticut gets it with just two seconds on the clock. The Lake Champlain has a 17-14 lead. It's a low scoring first half, but it's an 8, 8 a.m. game. Some of these girls haven't woke up yet. Yeah. 
Second half gets underway with Boudet, Johnson, Crop, Anderson, and Castine on the floor for the Lakers. Lakers up by a scant three points. This is a must-win situation for Lake Champlain if they're going to have a shot at winning this great Adirondack shootout. It's a one-point ball game. Anderson saves Castine's bacon on that one and puts it in. A broken play, and it's two points for Lake Champlain. Those, those can help. Travel. Full court pressure. Anderson finds Castine off the glass. It's good. That's what can happen when you break a press. You get an easy two out of it. Five-point lead for the Lakers. Phillies will keep it. Westcon Phillies from Connecticut. Pass comes deep. Five second violation. Johnson will inbound it. Gets it to Castine. To Anderson. In and out. Castine rebounds, puts it back up, and good. Laker lead at seven, their biggest lead of the game. Castine tips it out. Anderson picks it up. Travel. Crump with the ball. Over to Anderson. Lakers turn on the jump ball. Castine finds Anderson. No, won't fall. Connecticut rebounds. Boudet with a nice block, but she's called for the foul. Nice block. Shooting two. Hits them both. 23-18, to go. Crop over to Castine. Looking for Johnson. Yeah. Lakers catch a break. Right in, just in the game. And Amanda Wright, just in the game, gets the pass. And the basket. Lakers lead back to seven. On the line. Now Liberty in. She replaces Anderson. 25-18, 13.02 to go in the ball game. Lake Champlain up by seven prompt call for steps. Both clubs coasted in their first two wins. Connecticut scores a bucket to five-point ball game again. Prompt will bring it up for Lake Champlain. 
Over to Liberty. Abude for Kronk for three. Fast line rebounds, left-handed shot. Heads up. Oh, travel. 25 20 to score. And she, she wanted it. Coach has been begging for it. She finally got it. She finally got what she wanted. 25 20, 12 11 to go in the ball game. And Crump will try to capitalize on a technical foul, gets one. I don't know why she's trying to bank him from the foul line. But the Lakers get one point out of it. Liberty will inbound it. Six point lead for Lake Champlain, 12-11 left in the game. Underneath for Amanda Wright, outside for Castine. She's tripped. Fell for travel. <laughs> Castine comes up with it. Over to Lazari. Unfortunately, Lazari hadn't reported in yet. But she was wide open. Warner tips it to right. Now for Lazari. Lazari will hold it up. Right from 15. Too strong. Warner with a strong rebound. Warner again. Now here comes Connecticut. And a foul will be on Liberty. Basket will count. That note in for Castine. Liberty rebounds. She may have traveled or foul. Foul. It's a four point ball game. 26 22. Lazari to Liberty. Need somebody at the point. Lazari, it's good. Six point lead for Lake Champlain. In and out, rebounded Warner. Now Liberty will bring it up. Pat Node, too strong. Nice rebound for Amanda Wright, she's fouled. Yeah. Wright can make it an eight point lead. That'd be the biggest lead of the game for the Lakers. Twenty-nine, twenty-two, seven point difference. 10, 10 to go in the game. 18 footer. Good try by Amanda Wright. Connecticut ball. Close against the Lakers. That one could have gone either way. That was a one of the classic ones and charge or blocking. And Liberty ties her up. 9.45 to go in the game. Lakers up by seven. No over and back. Missouri to Liberty. 
Now to Pat Node. Too strong. Off red. Mackenzie Pat Node will inbound it. Five seconds to get it in. Tries to get it to Warner. Travel. This game will go to the wire. Jump ball, good hustle from Warner. Connecticut has the ball. Somebody not back quick enough for the Lakers. 29-24, five point difference. Liberty to the Lazari for three. Connecticut does a nice job of boxing out. Right. To Patno. Patno will drive. She'll shoot off the glass. It's good. Kenzie Patno. Not afraid to take it to the hoop on those. And she has good results. Again. They break that press, and that's two easy baskets they've got in the last 30 seconds. Liberty to Pat Node. Pat Node in traffic. Out of red shirts. And Warner ties her up. Five point ball game. Into Warner. Off the glass and good. Katie Warner. Laker lead back to seven. 33 26 to score. Boudet set to come back in for Lake Champlain. Crop will join her. We have a foul called. 7-19 left in the ball game. Lakers up by seven. Chastain will also report in along with Crop and Boudet. They join Wright and Warner on the floor. And Connecticut with a nice play gets somebody open and an easy two. Back to a five-point ball game. This is Kromp to cast iron in the corner. Out front to Warner. Cast iron for three. No. Warner to Kromp. Now Boudet for cast iron for 16 feet. We have a timeout on the floor. 33-28 with 6.44 to go. Lakers up by five. Whoever wins this one will know they've been in a ball game. They'll have earned it. Cash time comes up with it. Off the glass, won't fall. Boudet. Tips it. Travel. A lot of time left. Six minutes, 29 seconds. Five point ball game. This is Kromp. To Warner. Hands off to Castine. Now Boudet over to Kromp. No 30 second shot clock. Lakers can take their time. Uh, Anderson and I think that's Johnson set to come in. Castine left handed hook shot. What's that all about? Anderson and Johnson replace uh, Wright and Warner. Five point game. The 
Red ball, 5.44 to go. She had a 15-footer jump ball. Nice play by Kromp. Connecticut had a 15-footer and then tried to drive through four or five people, including her teammates. Sort of pulled up for the, maybe a 10-foot shot. Connecticut gets it on the possession arrow. I believe that's four fouls on Castine. Five seventeen left, five point difference. Javelin called. Cromp with the ball. Anderson. Looking for Boudet. Back to Anderson. Chastain finds Anderson. Won't fall. Red ball. I think the scoring table wants to know what the situation is. We got the last one. This will be goal ball on a jump ball. And goal ball on the jump ball. Ball comes into Boudet. Crump, cross court. Anderson now quickly to Castine. Anderson, too strong, off red. What, wasn't touched? I thought it was touched, but apparently not. Five point ball game, 4-12 to go. That's good, it's a three point game. 33-30, just under four minutes left. Anderson to Boudet. Fast time for three, Lakers desperately need a basket. Now Patnod will come back in. Boudet picks it up. Jeff says it was on the line. A three-pointer will tie it. Gold ball. This is Klomp. It's a four-game tournament. Both teams at 2-0. and This game here will probably decide the tournament championship at the great... Had a Rondak shootout. That's a blocking foul. And Boudet will shoot a one and one. It's been a while since Lake Champlain's put anything through the twine. Boudet misses the front of the one and one. Anderson tracks it down. Out to Crump. Now Patno blocked and she's fouled. Huh? Shooting two. Heidi? 
Important points there for the Lakers. Mackenzie Patnode hits two from the foul line. Lake Champlain lead back to five, just under three minutes to go in the game. Lake Champlain comes up with it. Crop is fouled. And she is not to the floor. Boudet says, get up, we got shots to take. In the head, apparently. Timeout for Red. And the score with 2.43 to go. Lake Champlain 35. Connecticut, Westcon Phillies 30. Connecticut has to get on the floor. Flagrant foul called. Crump misses them both. Lakers will keep the ball. Ball's inbounded to Anderson. 2.40 left in the ball game. Anderson drives off the glass. No. Keeps it alive. Boudet pulls it down. Anderson to Crump. Now Pat Nolan. Foul called away from the ball on Johnson. There's our situation. That's a critical call. 2.17 to go. Takes the ball away from the Lakers. It gives uh, Connecticut a chance to get two easy ones from the foul line. One and one. Shot is missed. Anderson keeps it alive. And it's pulled down by Johnson. Foul in the backcourt. I believe number 22 for Connecticut has just fouled out. That node shooting a one and one. Foul line will be vital from here on in. Shot is missed. Johnson with the rebound. Fakes, puts it back. No. Now the Lakers control. Anderson, too strong. Katie Warner will come back in. point ball game. Crump, good hustle. Because nobody else wants it, I'll get it. A little too strong for Anderson. Takes a nice back spin. Johnson back for Pat No. Lakers will try to get some time off the clock. Connecticut will foul. Johnson takes it to the paint, puts it up. She'll shoot two. Warner replaces Anderson. Johnson, shoot two at the line. Shooting foul. Chance to give a team a seven point lead. Yes. One minute, 27 seconds to go. Erica Johnson, two very important foul shots. Lakers lead at 37-30. Connecticut has to hurry, has to make something happen quickly. Lake Champlain does not want to foul. I don't want to stop that clock, but they got to play some defense. Gave her an easy layup. And there's a foul in the backcourt. Connecticut not going to let too much time tick off before they foul. 106 to go. Crop will shoot a one and one. Strong rebound, Erica Johnson. Lakers get the ball back. Now Warner back to help out. That's just taken away. No whistle. Johnson. No, Boudet. Great hustle. Patno is tackled. Patno shooting a one and one. Lakers up by six. Hits. Seven-point lead, 46 seconds. 
left in the ball game. This is a game that could decide a tournament championship. Both teams have one game to go. Connecticut turns it over. 40 seconds. Pat Note is fouled. And she is fouled out. With exactly half a minute to go, Lakers can take a 10 point lead. <laughs> 42 32. 24 seconds to go. Connecticut, blocked by Warner. Lake Champlain will move to three and zero. Oh. The Westcon Phillies will drop to three, two and one. There's one other opponent for the Lakers, another strong team from the Capital District. Here next to Albany. 42-34 will be the final here. Lake Champlain Lakers with an 8-point, 42-34 win against the Connecticut Westcon Phillies, and that's the way it was on this 13th day of July, 1997. Uh, Sunday morning, we've been in beautiful downtown uh, Lake Luzerne at Hadley Luzerne Middle School.